brothers and sisters. Hold on, hold on. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Kamastana Kayo. My name is Brother Ananda. I lived my Kosilio on September 26 to 29th of 2018 at Holy Redeemer Retreat Center, Oakland, California. Men's Kosilio number 100. My decoria is St. John the Beloved. Thank you. My, present, my presentation tonight is on sincerity, a rollo given by Father Joseph Cascales from the book, The First Conversation of Kala Figara. It was the sixth rollo presented following the conviction talk. What is sincerity? Webster Dictionary defines sincerity as freedom of hypocrisy, that is to believe one does not, honest and genuine. Now, this is what Wikipedia states. Sincerity is the virtue of one who communicates and acts in accordance with the entirety of their feelings, of their beliefs, thoughts, and desires in a manner that is honest and genuine. Sincerity can also be said to dwell in a man's secret cave, which is in the heart and is sanctuary, where he is alone with God and whose voice echoes in his depths. In fact, God alone knows the human heart in depth. Brothers and sisters, if you ask me what sincerity is, I would say it is the honest statement with conviction and belief that comes out of my heart. Now, Father Cascales tells us a story about a great preacher by the name Saint Anthony of Padua, who was asked to preach to the famous Franciscan priest by a superior in three words in Latin. This is what Saint Anthony of Padua said in Latin. Iam Nostis pachare. In English, what do you already know? Do it. We have an idea what sincerity means. So now we could just challenge ourselves to act with sincerity. According to Father Cascales, there are many aspects of sincerity. He chose and bro broke down the talk into these four aspects. Let me explain. The first one is sincerity of conscience. The second one is sincerity and life of faith. The third is sincerity of seeking truth. And the last but not the least is sincerity of hope for the environment. Now, let us consider the first one. Sincerity of conscience, according to Father Cascales, the conscience, the moral right of wrong, right and wrong acts, acts, is no more than ultimate sincerity, where we can look into our being and in all our history, and we will see that there is no other possibility of an intimate encounter with God than through sincerity. Father Cascales said, maybe that is why all dictators do not want to come face to face with God because they would mean they would have to put away their dictatorship aside. The church also has a lot of dictatorships. And so Father Cascales talked about the famous John Cardinal Newman's famous phrase, if I am obliged to bring religion into after dinner toast, I shall drink to conscience first and to the Pope afterwards. These and similar statements can give the impression that Cardinal Newman advocates for the primacy over and about the teachings of the church. 
That is to say, for him, conscience comes first. The role of conscience in the sense of sincerity is this. When man is himself and he is a believer, he knows that in ultimate sincerity is where he can and should and will find God. Now, I would like to tell you a story. According to Father Cascales of an, uh, of an Austrian farmer who was called up to the, to the military in Hitler's time, and he knew in his conscience that he could not go to war because that would mean to kill and to murder people. He went to ask the Bishop of Linz, and the Bishop said he should not let his conscience make him so scrupulous that he had, been, he had seen many Catholics go to war and that there was no reason for him to walk around with guilty conscience. The farmer followed his conscience and was executed, shot for not going to war. Now the church is now introducing his cause for beatification. Brothers and sisters, what would you think would happen if during the first and second war, the Christians had been sincere with their conscience? Do you think we might have prevented millions of deaths and all the pain that we had since then? Father Cascales also said that Christ was also a victim of sincerity. Jesus acted against the law and there was Judas whom the scholars say what Judas did in the beginning was to save Christ, who, should, who would save them from the Romans as their Messiah. As we all know, Christ did not let himself be dragged by anyone and was ultimately sentenced to death by the law and his destiny to fill, fill and to save us from our sins and to be sincere and loyal to his conscience until death. So what is conscience? The Bible calls the conscience, the heart or the center of the person. Brothers and sisters, do you remember our SOL presentation last September of how to form a good conscience by Father Vincent Kelber? The video of his talk is available on the FCC web website under SOL presentation in 2021. It is an excellent source of the meaning of the conscience where Father Kelber explained that conscience according to our catechism 1778 is a judgment of reason where the human person recognize the moral quality of the concrete act as he is about to perform or is in the process of performing or has already completed. Now, conscience is, our response to, is the response to the natural law. A law is a gift of God written on, into man's heart even before he receives grace or, or even before he knows Christ. Can you imagine that each one of us has this natural law in his heart, even when he does not know what know it? Father Kelber explained that the natural law is steady and does not change. And it is written in each person's heart for his own good, for the common good. And, and it is from God. Conscience with response, on the other hand, is dynamic, which means also a response to the natural law. And they need to be illuminated, formed and educated and grow or diminish. Now, we should remember that natural law is static and the response to the conscience to the natural law is dynamic and the conscience is static too. It is only 
when you respond to that conscience and the law, it becomes dynamic. According to Father Kelvin, we are bound to follow a good moral conscience and continually illuminate and form and educate through prayer, studies of the scriptures, good habits and actions, relationships, friendships, and especially through the sacraments of reconciliation and the Holy Eucharist. Many saints and spiritual founders of religious orders teach us how to examine our conscience daily. An, an excellent habit that should be part of our lives. Now, sincerity and, and a life of faith. According to Father Cascales, the man does not question himself. The believer who does not question his faith. The Cosilista who does not question his Cosilio either. Then you have neither a good Cosilista nor a good believer nor a good man. Because we live in mysterious and our own daily life of mystery. Father Cascales believes that our sincerity commit to question ourselves without ceasing. If you don't have the enthusiasm to ask and search for our inner, innermost heart, Father Cascales said we are traveling on a high speed train and if we don't stop, we will fall, we'll all fall to the bottom of the cliff in disgrace to death. In one of the three day Cosilio weekends that Father Cascales was in, and one of the participants came crying to him and asked if you could receive her back to the church. She had rejected the church and thought that was cruel and tyrant. And tyrant. However, she had an encounter with God and discovered a God of love, of tender love. Like most of us, this was a metanoia, a change of heart and mind. Now, sincerity of seeking truth. If conscience is the heart or center of the person, then sincere, sincerity naturally requires the person to seek honesty, truthfulness, question oneself, and discernment within his heart. To question ourselves is to seek truth and to discern truth requires the sincerity of conscience. The Cosilio wants and needs to announce the true God, the true Christ and true gospel and the true church. How difficult we find to tell people that the church is the Eucharistic community of love. Please also remember that sincerity direct our eyes Sincerity keeps our eyes open without taking them off reality, especially and above all the reality that concerns us. For example, how do you proclaim how good is how, how good God is and what wonderful things He has given us to, to a mother who has just lost her youngest son to an accident and has the eldest son who is gravely ill. This is a very difficult situation. And in this reality is where faith comes to have an understanding and a sincere heart to support and suffer with those who suffer without knowing why God allows them to suffer. It is only when in due time, we accept the realities we cannot change and that our existence is often a mystery. Can, can we find peace and serenity to find the God of love once again? Sincerity is, is, for the, is for truth. Sincerity is the kingdom of the truth. And Christ says that the truth will set you free. Christ does not speak the truth. 
as we understand it when we are speaking the truth. In the gospel for the Hebrews, the word truth signified the decisive reality. And when Christ said, I am the resurrection and the life, the truth in the gospel is tantamount or equivalent to the decisive reality. This decisive reality is that that can set us free. That is to say, the power to decide our state of being will set us free. Now, sincerity of hope for the environment. The Cosilio wants and needs to announce this decisive reality, the truth of the gospel. In order to do that, we have to know the environment, doing it with the spirit of Christ, bravely with love, understanding and alert to the signs of the time. And if Cosilio is sincere, sincere, true to itself, and then Cosilio manifests the passion and emotion of the heart of God. Sincerity is the greatest guarantee of our group reunions, of our friendships. We know in, in group reunions, we reach a unity and openness among each other. Each one is confident and able to communicate openly. As Father Cascales said, what do we always say in the Cosilio? We want to make friends with all so that we may all make friends with Christ. This is friendship. In other words, make a friend, be a friend and bring that friend to Christ with sincerity. Decolores.